Hey everyone. I know I'm already starting this video off a little rough, but just give me a minute <laughs> and I'll I'll get my stuff together. Um I um hang on. Here we go. I just um having one of my moments and I'm sitting here burping the baby. But I don't know. I was just sitting here reading the the um the school did like this meal train thing for 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 us for me and the kids and um where like the families um at school like they'll just bring in meals and we can pick them up so then that way like I don't have to worry about cooking dinner and um I don't know I was just reading this meal train um <clears throat> website thing that they put up for us and um like it's not it's not like sad or anything it's just my grief like kind of just took over and um but um it just says like how we're you know we've welcomed a new baby home from a you know um and i'm needing i'm needing some help from like a tragic loss and stuff and it says all praise be to god for this precious um precious new addition and just that like all praise be to god like it like completely took me over um and only because like Like, I don't know why I was given this battle. Like, I don't want this battle to fight at all. Like, I've been through enough my life. Like, and I'm trying not to look back on the past because I have grown so much. Like, I'm 30 years old now. Like, I've grown a lot from my past. And... Like, people who know me, like, know, like, I wasn't a good person, but I wasn't a bad person either, like, if that makes any sense. Like, I was just, I was a teen who basically, like, raised myself, and, like, my dad wasn't, was never there. Like, I don't have a dad. I don't even know if he's still alive, and I really don't even give a shit. Um, and... My mom is, like, completely unstable. Even now, like, me being an adult, she's completely, like, unstable. I can't rely on her. And, like, I have no family. I, and I have, um, sorry, my camera there. <clears throat> and I have, like, I have two sisters, but on my mom's side. And my oldest sister, like, I don't talk to my older sister and the um the one who's like a couple years older than me like I talk to her sometimes but like I don't have like and like I don't have anyone like I I have his mom and his sister which I'm very thankful and grateful for but it's like my, like, like, my time being on, there, my camera keeps getting off focus, um, like, my time being on earth has been, like, like, I've had good times, but, and those are the times, like, I want to try to hold on to, because, like, I don't, I don't want to fall, like, I don't want to fail, I don't want to get into this like big thing of depression like I've started my real estate classes and like I really feel like really strongly feel like this is this is a field that I can do good in like I can I can do this and like it's just really hard to 
continue to stay positive when like you just feel like you've been dealt like this shit ass life and I still try to pray like I still watch church sermons on Sunday like I'm really trying like very hard to keep my faith because like that's like literally the only thing I feel is like holding me together right now and and the kids and it's just it's ever since this happened it's not been easy at all it really hasn't like some days of course they're better than others but like I just I keep asking myself why like like I'm a good person I'm gonna like I don't know why I've been just given this this shitty ass fucking card like why why me like I can't I don't know what he sees in me like I'm not that strong like there becomes a point like where you're just you're tired of fighting like you're you're just seriously tired of fighting every single day like just trying to stay positive and and I know it's okay sometimes to just have your bad days but I just like I don't want this battle and and I can't like I can't take it back like I just have to deal with what I've been given and and I was given no choice like to raise five kids by myself like I was given no choice and it just it really sucks like because I want him here like we chose to have this many kids and a family together and like he's not here so like now we have to live our life without him and just look at pictures and videos and the baby doesn't even know him and I'm just I'm just rambling right now but I want to get myself together and I wanted to try to do a um a um one week postpartum update I want to get myself together obviously right now it's not looking too great for the rest of my day but I'm gonna try to pull myself together um and maybe make some coffee or something and, or some tea and like I'm trying back up recording the other day like when I recorded that whole emotional intro or whatever it was 
Um, I just wasn't in the mood to. So today, I figured I'd be a little bit more productive and maybe do like a little short video. And I want to try to do like my one week postpartum or like two week postpartum because now he's two weeks. So I still haven't taken um, any pictures yet of me and him like in our robe, um, like our robe swaddle set. So I want to try to get that done today, but I don't know because I wanted to do something with the kids. So I don't know. I really don't know what I have planned today. I don't even, I don't even have a plan. So, but right now the baby is upstairs sleeping and I'm getting ready to do um, all these dishes back here. And I have the, oh, I actually are looking funky. Um, and the girls are cleaning the living room because they made a mess. Yeah, so I'll update you guys later. Hey guys. Okay, update. I got dressed. <laughs> and I put on my little robe. And the baby is being cranky, so I'm going to... Um, feed him and then um start taking some pictures um I'm just gonna do some like like on on the bed and like by my wall and stuff kind of like how my maternity pictures were um but with my little outfits and his swaddle is like a a green like this color but I'm gonna hurry up and get him because if I don't he's gonna be super super best all right bye okay so I'm going to um actually try to put him to sleep um because he's not happy so i just tried to take some pictures and he wanted to sleep all morning and now he wants to like be like halfway sleep milk drunk and i'm trying to take pictures so <laughs> i'm gonna try to put him to sleep and and um hopefully sorry guys hopefully try to get some good shots but right now he's he's pretty cranky so let's give it a shot We just got home um well me and the older kids we just got home i didn't take the baby grandma came over to watch the baby and um i just got done feeding him and i'm getting ready to study um because i have a test on tuesday for my um real estate class sorry if this is i have one light that's like i like fluorescent light and then one light that's like a weird bright light so i'm sorry about my lighting and he's getting ready to wake up so i have to hurry up but i just wanted to update you guys so um like about three o'clock i um took the older kids we went to um the mall um they rode on some like little animal um things um that they can ride around in the mall and then we went downstairs to the food court it was way too packed so i was like we're leaving and then we ended up going to mcdonald's and it was still packed so we ended up eating mcdonald's and then we stopped at the graveyard um or the cemetery i don't like saying graveyard we stopped at the cemetery to see dad and then we came home and i just fed him i put him down and he treats me like a pacifier sorry there we go he treats me like a pacifier so every time i take him off the boob he starts crying and then as soon as i put him back on the boob then he's out so I probably should get him um but I did um 
just to kind of hurry up. Um, but I did end up taking um, some pictures of me and him earlier. He was cooperative, um, like at the last minute. And by that time I was done, um, because my coffee was starting to wear off and I still wanted to take the kids um, to the mall. So, uh, but they turned out, they turned out really good. I'm happy of the way that they turned out and I'm going to see if um, my sister-in-law can edit um, my husband into the pictures, like how um, they did my, um, like my main picture. Um, so I tried in some of the, then some of the pictures, so now you just went back to sleep. <laughs> so in some of the pictures, I tried to leave enough room to where if someone wanted to like edit him in, then they would be able to edit him in there. Um, so I'm going to start studying because that was my goal to at least study for like an hour and a half to two hours. And then tomorrow again, I'm going to be doing a lot of studying. I'm going to, yeah, try to do more studying. Um, but I wanted to do my one to two week um, uh, postpartum video because my stomach, like I'm surprised at like how much it's already gone down um, because before with my others, it didn't go down as quick. Um, but okay, I'll update you guys or I'll finish off this vlog and then I'll just get back to you guys tomorrow. I'm so sorry. But make sure that you um, like and subscribe to my channel for further videos. Um, yeah, bye.